Let's learn about CAG 2.1 Success Criterion 2.4.7 Focus Visible. This criterion requires that all user interface components that receive focus have a visible focus indicator. Here are some examples of how to implement this success criterion in code. Using CSS to style focus, in CSS, the focus pseudo class can be used to style elements when they receive focus. A common technique is to add an outline to the element when it receives focus. The CSS rule adds a blue outline to any button, input, select, or text area element that receives focus. Using the tap index attribute, in HTML, the tap index attribute can be used to specify the order in which elements receive focus. When using tab index, it's important to ensure that the focus order is logical and follows the visual layout of the page. In this example, the tab index attribute is used to specify the order in which the elements receive focus. Using the Focus Visible Pseudo class, the Focus Visible Pseudo class is a newer CSS pseudo class that applies only when an element is focused using a keyboard or other non mouse input device. It is intended to be used in conjunction with the Focus pseudo class to apply different styles to keyboard focused elements. The CSS rule adds a blue outline to any button element that receives focus from either a mouse or a keyboard, but applies a different style to keyboard focused elements using the Focus visible pseudo class. By implementing visible focus indicators in your user interface components, you can ensure that users can always see where the focus is on the page and navigate the content using a keyboard or other non mouse input device.